Gemini, Google's incredible AI tool, is changing fast. Here's everything you need to know to use Gemini in your classroom this year. Hi, my name is John Selwash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. To get started, visit gemini.google.com. Gemini is very easy to use. It's a giant box. You just type stuff in and it gives you answers. So if I'm a teacher and I'm interested in discussion questions, I might just ask that question and hit the submit button and it'll give me a response. It's really that easy. Now there's a lot that goes into prompt engineering. That's a topic for another time, but really it's that easy to get started. It's very important that you utilize Gemini inside of your school's Google Workspace for Education account. There's two main reasons for this. Number one, you're gonna get advanced features. Google has provided schools and universities with advanced features that you won't find in a personal Gmail account. Secondly, you're also going to get additional data privacy protections. So Google guarantees that when you use your school account, it won't use anything that you put in there for training, research, human review, advertising. That keeps it safe, especially if you're a teacher and potentially putting things that might be um, related to student work. Everything inside of Gemini with your school account is safe and protected. Now, I have the premium version of Gemini, so it might be, look a little bit different than yours, but a lot of the buttons will be the same, will be very closely related. Your IT administrator controls what features of Gemini you have access to and whether or not it's on or off for staff and students. So if you don't see something that I'm showing you, check with your IT admin to ask them to turn it on. Text responses aren't the only thing that Gemini can provide. You can also generate images. We just did a discussion prompt on The Great Gatsby. Let's create an image. So all I have to do is describe the image. Typically, you just have to start your prompt with create an image of and see what happens. The more detail that you provide for your image prompt, the more specific and detailed your image will be. Gemini does an amazing job. This has gotten a lot better over the years. I think you'll be excited with the type of results that you can find. Not only can Gemini create images, it can also create video. Now, this is a new feature. It is a premium feature right now, but my guess is that everyone will have access to this in the near future. First of all, I'm going to click on the Tools button. You might have to click on the plus, depending on how uh, Gemini looks. I'm going to select Create Vids with Veo describe my prompt. I can also upload a photo if I want to animate that photo. And this will create up to an eight second video with sound. Now this one does take a little bit longer than the image generation, so be patient. I think you'll be surprised by what you get. All right, let's take a look. We've got the cars, the lavish house. You can see the green lantern off across the lake. Don't hear the party going on in the background, but I can hear the car tires on the gravel. Not bad. You can always change your prompt, update it, and it will adjust the image and video accordingly. We are not done yet. There is so much more to talk about. We're going to be looking at some of the specialized modes for Gemini now. Now, this might be a little bit different depending on what version of Gemini you have. You'll either need to click the plus button or the tools button, or you might see it across the bottom. We are going to start by looking at the canvas. Sometimes you want to co-author something with Gemini. You know, if you just use regular Gemini, you get a response, but you can't really edit it. With Canvas, we can actually create essentially a Google Doc right with Gemini. So I've asked it to generate a lesson plan for me, and you'll see that it kind of opens up this separate window. We still have our chat, you know, off to the left, but we've got this basically a Google document over here. This allows me to manually type and edit myself, or if I don't like something, I could highlight and I could say uh, something like, I don't have a whiteboard, please revise. And it will change just that section of the document, the project that I'm working on. When you're satisfied with your document, go up to the top, click the share button, and you can export this directly to Google Docs. Let's move on from Canvas and take a look at another specialized aspect of Gemini called Deep Research. This is a feature that will do very exhaustive research on my behalf on a topic of my choosing. So I'm going to write a topic that explains what I'm looking for, give as much detail as I can, make sure that you've selected the Deep Research option in the Tools menu, and then hit Submit. First, it's going to verify its plan with me. It's going to explain what it's going to do, how it's going to approach this research. I have an opportunity to modify this if I want. Now, this will take 
quite a bit of time. It can take anywhere from 10 to 20 or 30 minutes, depending on what you're asking it to do. So start the research and then just come back in a little bit. You can go do other projects. You can use Gemini for other things. It'll do the research in the background. We'll come back, take a look, see what it comes up with. It took about 10 minutes, but our deep research request is complete. My chat history is going to be on the left side of Gemini. All of my chats are saved. Some of that is based on your IT department, how they've configured that. We're going to go to our recent chat on literary interpretation and check out our deep research summary. So here it is. This is a very detailed analysis of literary interpretations of The Great Gatsby. Uh, we've got tables, sections. I mean, this is pages long. And one of the most impressive things, if you keep scrolling down all the way to the bottom, and this is very useful, is we will have a list of all of the sources used to generate this summary. So if I want to look at the source material, I can do so. And this is a great way for students to find some primary source information uh, that they can use potentially for their own project and research. Now, this is a very, very long report. And you can certainly read it. You can export this into a Google document and share it via Google Classroom if you want. But if I go up to the top right corner, you'll notice that there's a, an export button. And there's several things that I can do with this, including generating an audio summary of this report. And this is going to be essentially a podcast summarizing the lengthy report that I've generated. I have personally done this multiple times, and it is amazing to be able to go in the car, turn on this podcast, and on your commute home, on the bus ride home, get a summary of all of this critical information. Now, if you're an English or a math teacher, the thought of your students having access to a tool like Gemini might freak you out, and I totally get it. I want to show you a very important feature called guided learning. Now, if your students have access to Gemini through their school account, guided learning will be the default mode for them. Check this out. We just did a bunch of research on The Great Gatsby. A student has selected their research topic. They need to write a paper. If a student comes to Gemini and says, hey, can you just write this paper for me? Watch what Gemini will do. So I've put in my prompt and I say, write this for me. And it's going to say, oh, I'm happy to help you with that. Let's have a discussion. Now I could respond and I say, nah, can you just write it for me? And again, Gemini will respond and give some suggestions and prompt the student with some ideas, but it will not do the work for them. The same thing would happen if I uploaded a copy of my math worksheet. Gemini would say, I'm happy to help you with this, but I cannot answer the questions for you directly. This is a very Socratic experience. Gemini will ask a series of questions and will guide the student through the learning process. Now, this is certainly not foolproof, and students have many other ways that they could potentially use AI to write their papers, but the guided learning experience is designed to assist students not to do the work for them. The Next same. up, we want to talk about Gemini Gems. This is a really helpful time saver. Gems are going to be found on the left side of your Gemini page kind of above your chat history. Let's click on Explore Gems. You will see some pre-made gems from Google up top, and that's an easy place to get started if you want. A gem is a custom AI agent. You train a gem for a specific task or purpose. A gem is perfect for something that you need to do on a regular, ongoing basis. So I have one in here. This is my biology lesson planner gem. I don't have to explain that I'm a ninth grade biology teacher, that I want my lesson plans formatted this way, that I teach from this textbook. That's all built into the gem itself and it just generates that lesson plan based on my instructions. It's very uh, simple to get started. We're just going to click New Gem. We're going to give it a name, and then we're going to give it instructions on here. And then to expand on those instructions, you can use the magic pencil, where Gemini will take your initial instructions and expand on them to give them more detail. You can create Gemini gems for yourself to work more efficiently. You can also create gems for your students. So for example, I have a gem that is designed to help students learn about the Civil War by chatting with a Union Civil War soldier. So that gem is trained to ask questions and respond to questions based on that period information.
I have a GEM for Fahrenheit 451 to assist students in identifying research topics and literary topics, understand the key themes in this book. GEMs can be assigned to students through Google Classroom, which means you can use them as kind of a research or study assistant on whatever you're doing. We have only begun scratching the surface of what you can do with Google Gemini. Hopefully this overview will introduce you to the different modes so that you can take the next step in your Gemini journey. Google is offering a certification for educators. If you want to become a Google Gemini certified educator, I'm gonna provide a link to the free study guide that I've created that will help you study and prepare for the exam that Google has created. I'll also link to some helpful videos and resources that you can use to learn how to use Gemini more effectively in your classroom.